Alright folks, this is Pitching News 88, we're back playing Criminal Case on Facebook. We're going to go to the additional investigation where we follow up on Rachel Priest, sadly passed away. Lieutenant Ace, this was an extremely trying case, but you did a great job of it. I'm very proud of you. But your work in the financial sector center isn't quite done, however. Apparently Miss Speltz is experimenting on chips, despite this being illegal. Try and find proof of it to arrest her. Additionally, ever since Drake Ribs got injected with the serum, he's been sick, and with Rachel's death, I'm afraid he's more dangerous than ever. I'd like you to check up on him. Alright, Chief, Lieutenant Ace. I'd like to also check up on Carl. I know he portrayed Rachel, but still, they were close. Of course, the three people we gotta check up on. Uh, let's talk to Drake. Hi Drake, how are you feeling today? I'm very weak. The doctor at Grimsboro Hospital has informed me that I'm suffering from cancer. I'm so sorry to hear that, Drake. Is there anything we can do for you? The doctors say they can cure me, but first they need my medical file to identify which chemical product I was subjected to. Because the experiments on me were, so, were top secret, I can't get a hold of my medical file. But since Green was involved, I'm sure he has a copy. If only you could access his office. Well, let us worry about that, Drake. Lieutenant Ace will access Mr. Green's office and find your medical file in no time. You bet you I will. She looks very insane. Miss Feltz, we've come to verify that you aren't illegally experimenting on chimps. What? You've got to be kidding. When it comes to this, Lieutenant Ace never kids. If you don't mind, we're going to have to start our audit now. Uh, you can't. Good thinking, Lieutenant Ace. You investigate this room and I'll take the other one. Yeah. She's going to be in trouble. She should go to jail along with all the other ones. Before you say anything, I know I did Rachel wrong by selling her out to Alden, and I like to redeem myself any way I can. I owe her so much. Everything I know is what Rachel taught me. She was an exceptional person, and her courage and determination had no limits. So I'm not surprised CCN awarded her the CCN Prize for Best Reporter of the Year for her article on drug trafficking. That's great news. She would have been so pleased. CCN asked me to find a parent of Rachel's in order to accept the prize. I wrote down her grandmother's number, but I seem to have lost it. Well, we're glad you're trying to make amends, Carl, so we're happy to help. Hey, so what do you say we start looking for that phone number here? Heck yeah, I think we should. So all these, of course, are ones that we've already completed. Pain bucket, uh, room 1408, gramophone, food, food doll, notepad. Aha, uh -huh, that's new. A balloon, pyramid. There's a smiling face, trash bag, arrow. Hand, ruler. Oh, that's right. Alright, not such a big deal. We just need to be able to find this stuff. Alright. Well, Ace, let's see if your idea works. Here's Carl's notepad. Do you think you can etch out Rachel's grandmother's phone number from it? Of course I can. I'm awesome like that. We're going to go to some of the other ones, because that's that's not going to take us too long, I don't think. Aside from we're probably going to have to triple check the, the database. Alright, so, what do we got here? Emergency button, water leak, cactus, teddy bear, chain, air vent, flashlight. Lab coat. There it is. Syringe. Mohawk. Underpants. All 
All right, we're looking for chimps, not lab coats, Ace. Ah, my apologies, Ace. I didn't notice those hairs on the lab coat. Do you think you could retrieve some for analysis? You bet you I can. something back together. My favorite thing to do. Drake's medical files is nowhere to be seen, so that shredded paper is our last chance. Ace, do you think you can piece it back together? I will bet you anything I'm able to. Let's examine this shredded piece of paper. This is my kind of uh, putting everything together. Yeah, sweet. I knew you could do it, Ace. Now we, that you've restored Drake's file, the doctor will be able to use it to cure Drake's cancer. Man, I wish cancer was that easy to fix. Looks like they wanted us to get to the next district. Well done, Ace. I'm sure Grace will appreciate you collecting such a dense sample from those of those animal hairs from the lab coat. Now let's not waste any time and have Grace analyze them to see whether they're chimp hairs or not. Let's do it. Three hours, that's not bad. Let's examine this notepad. Let's dust it. Miriam Priest. What's her number? Excellent work, Lieutenant. You've recovered Rachel's grandmother's phone number. Thanks to you, Carl will be able to phone the grandmother and ask her to come and collect Rachel's award. Let's go tell him the good news. And cool, it looks like we really only need to wait for three hours, but I, as you can tell, I need to grab some stars. I'll see you guys all later. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Over and out. Alright, let's figure out what are these hairs are. Those animal hairs you got from the lab are chimp hairs, and it's sickening, but these chimps are being used for gruesome experiments. I can't believe people are still testing on chimps when it's been banned in the United States since 2012. Ace, you've got to arrest this person. Don't worry, Grace. Ace will make sure that that person responsible gets their just dessert. In fact, we're going to go see Kelly right away. Heck yeah, we are. She's a horrible human being. Hey Kelly, you're going in behind bars. Miss Belts, the game is up. We didn't think you could get any sicker, but we found chimp hairs on the lab coat in your lab. This proves that you've been illegally testing your experiments on poor defenseless chimps. Kelly Spelts, you're now under arrest for your crimes. You can't arrest me. I'm doing the work of God. What are a few chimps' lives if I can save thousands of human lives? From what I've seen of your experiments, you've only ever managed to destroy lives, not save them. You're a scientist, not a monster. Or, you're a scientist, you're a monster. Wow, you're not a scientist, you're a monster. Probably shouldn't be recording at 4 a.m. But that's what I do. Love to record this game, man. Drake, excellent news. Lieutenant Ace has found your medical file. All the information concerning your military treatment is in it. Rachel's right, you're an exceptionally talented person. It's an honor to know you, Lieutenant Ace. Take care of yourself, Drake, and don't hesitate to give us some news about your recovery. Bullets, necklace, Ooh, a camo beret. That's pretty sick. Probably won't be wearing it, but it's pretty cool. Alright, let's finish off the additional investigation, man. Oh, great, you found Rachel Grandmother's phone number. 
I'm so relieved. I was afraid I would never find it, and that the prize would not end up with her family. We're just glad to f see that Rachel finally get the recognition she deserved. And we talked to Rachel's grandmother. Please be sure to convey to her the deepest condolences of the Grimsboro police. I won't forget, but before you go, I feel Rachel would have wanted us to celebrate her award. What do you say we go eat a burger at Rachel's favorite restaurant in her honor? Oh, Rachel, I think I'm gonna cry. Okay, I've I already cried earlier, so no worry to cry now. But anyways, guys, stay tuned as we go into the historical district. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Thank you guys for watching. Over and out.